So we saw that uh, deep learning uh, had a tremendous impact on that ImageNet competition, which uh, allowed them to take 1.5 million images, train the deep learning network, and get amazing performance of predicting one of a thousand different categories. So let's go ahead and show you a little demo of what kind of categories we're talking about and how cool the predictions were. So um, here's an example. Uh, I, it was uh, uh, the AlexNet trained on the ImageNet dataset, which I, uh, we then deployed as a service that can be queried uh, from, uh, from this website. And so every time I click on an image, it gets sent to that service, which actually runs on a GPU, so it's fast. And it comes back for prediction. So if I click on this particular image here, it gets sent to a service that actually hosted on Amazon AWS. It comes back for prediction here, it's hidden, but when I click on it, it tells me what prediction is. So if I show you this image, um, it might be unclear what that image is, but if I click on it, it says parking meter, and it turns out to be the right label. Uh, the second best here prediction was padlock, which you can kind of see kind of a padlock, but really parking meter, got it right. So that's really quite cool. Um, let me show you another example. So for example, this one, it gets shipped off to that service on Amazon AWS, comes back for prediction, and here my prediction is screen, monitor, oscilloscope, and you see it's a monitor, but I don't know what the difference between a screen and a monitor is, but that's okay. So um, it's various images here. I'm just gonna click on a few. Um, so for example, if I click on this one over here, uh, it gets sent up. It's really sure, it really thinks it's a spoon bill. It turns out to be a spoon bill, which is, uh, which is great. Um, and uh, lastly, I'm gonna click on this one over here, and uh, that image gets sent to that service, which uses a deep, deep learning for GPU, and it says it's a beer bottle or pop bottle, the true label is beer bottle. And now, these are all images in the original ImageNet data set. Let me show you an image that was not in the original ImageNet data set. I click on this one here, it gets sent to that service on, a, on a AWS that we're hosting there, comes back for prediction, it says uh, Labrador Retriever. This is my dog. This is the lab in GraphLab. <laughs> and uh, this is the, the dog over here in, uh, in data. And so, as you can see, even for images, that um, were not in the original data set, you can still get pretty interesting predictions. Now, in, uh, in your capstone, you wanna build a service, now not for predicting images here, but for recommendations with deep learning, for product images and text, and host it as a service, and you'll be able to get a website like this that anybody can play with, use, and really see the power of the machine learning that you've been learning about.